Hello my friends, this is another video with Emma Retro TV. We're gonna cover how to use this build. The build is um, a really nice build. Uh, it's, it pretty much has a lot of different kinds of uh, content for all and everybody in the family. We can start with Asian. Uh, with the controller you can move either left or the right and you can select from the menu. Uh, there's kids section, the Spanish for all those Spanish people, TV shows, movies, sports, uh, live TV for him, content for just for him, but that doesn't mean strictly for him. It can also be for her and there's some little bit of variation. The same goes with the for her section. It's more towards uh, ladies or females. But again, that doesn't mean that, you know, none of this stuff is strictly for a specific person. But it's more easier to find things for uh, everyone. And system. And for the dimension nation, but, you know. So, uh, this is the main menu, either left or right. You move with the controller and you will notice also uh, above the menu, there's uh, like, uh, pictures and those pictures if you press up and on the controller then you will be able to uh, select uh, anything from there like then you press right or left and you can read what is all about in that particular uh, area and uh, uh, if you don't like what you see there you can always keep pressing to the right and you will not notice that there's even more stuff um, all these movies are coming from the Bob add-on uh, that is located all the add-ons inside the, the menu section. And when you go to the movies, you press enter on the movies and you will see there's these add-ons that it will give you content for movies. Most of them is movies because I kind of like um, place them under the movies section however that doesn't mean that they are on, they only chose movies like sometime maybe they might show other stuff which is a good thing and I mentioned that one the the content that you will uh, see above the menu is from Bob so you know it's, a, it's like a shortcut that you can get uh, the section a little bit quicker uh, but if you don't like what you see on the home screen, then you can always go here on Bob's and you can select from any of these options. And it give you a little bit of more option. Uh, let's go back with the controller. And also another thing about movies, there's there's like a little thing. Let me use my mouse. I'm using my computer to record this video, so it's a little bit easier to show you guys. You see this control, this mouse cursor over here in this corner. That means that there's another shortcut section in there. To reach about uh, uh, on that count on that section, which is coming from the stream to all the sources, all you have to do. Oh, let me go back to the movie section. Is press up towards the shortcut in here where you see all the pictures and press up again and then it kind of like a, a small list of more stuff if you don't like what you see any of the uh, on there you just you know if you want to kind of like go down to the main menu with the controller just press left and it, it, it take you down and then down for the movie, movie section and then from there you can always you know uh, navigate to another session. Another thing that I mentioned uh, uh, that you guys are noticing is that when you uh, uh, that special menu up there, the, this one that I show you guys, the, that, that menu up there is only shown in movies and TV shows. You see, it's up there. But if you go to sports, it's not there. It's, it, it simply has like a the pictures. And you press up and you know left or right down to go down to the other section and down again for the main menu 
live TV. There's nothing up there. It's just clear. Uh, this is an area that is uh, is not always 100% working. It's pretty hard unless you know there's a, 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 a if you pay like an additional service for live TV. However, that doesn't mean that some of the add-on. Let me go in. Uh, that doesn't mean that some of the add-on doesn't work. Live TV. See, you got it's an individual live add-ons, and then you know if you like live TV, you can go any of this one, and this should work. Some of them. Well, let me give you an example. Let me go to Exodus and Channels. Uh, let me try that again. Since that is taking me back. Let's use a different one. Uh, get a flix, it's called Life TV. And there's some channels in here. Let's try this one. To see just if it works. The thing is, like if it doesn't work, there's always another add-on or there's always another channel. And like I said, the live TV section is the section that is a is a hit and miss because it's free content. And that content comes from people that works on their add-ons and they don't even have control unless they get paid. And I just click on the BBC one and sometimes we have to sometimes they open pretty quick but sometimes they don't. Unfortunately the live TV just was one of them. You know just live tv stuff yeah, but if anybody likes live tv and like to play around here then you know you can always like go ahead and try a different add-ons different channels but again like i said for better for better services this is one of the sections that is better to pay a little bit and kind of like you know let the developers work for, for it that way it can provide it this the channels for us which is called IPTV anyway since that is not working it's like taking forever so I'm just gonna try to click on cancel because that's another thing that one sometimes when you click on cancel it's just stay there stuck but if you press back sometimes yeah it happens So we are back with get a flix. Uh, apparently that channel didn't work so and my code crashed. So in that case it's always good to go to the home page of your box and uh, clean, click on the clean uh, option that way you can restart Cody and open up Cody up again and it will kind of like clear it up for you. But live TV is one of those tricky menus. Uh, on sports, sports when you press up, uh, there's different section in here. Um, let's go ahead and click and see if we can find. Uh, if you notice up there, up on top, on the left, it, it's, it shows what is what 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 content is inside the picture. Or you, if you know what the picture looks like, then you know what that means. So, uh, NFL, let's go here, NFL, and see if we can find the game of the Super Bowl. And sure enough, it's there. And we just click on it to see if it works. A good add-on usually works pretty quick, but just doing this to show that, you see, I need open. And that's the entire game. Okay, we stopped it. That way uh, we can continue with the video. Um, most of the time it doesn't show the time of the video, but once you open it and it works, it would will, it will show the time uh, of the whole video. And if you watch the whole video, you see this little square that are empty. Once you watch the video, it will look like a check, a check mark. If this video link doesn't work, you can try the second one. 
and so on. And there's different options here for NFL if you keep scrolling down. There is a lot down there. All the games, pro probably all the games for the season. You go back. And if you don't like what you like up here, then you can always go up on top. If you don't like what you see on top, you can always go inside the sport menu. Go inside, and that's it shows the add-ons, different add-ons for different sports. For me, I noticed that the, the two best ones are the one that I already put on the homepage, but if you don't see what you like up there, out, out there, then you can always go in here and try different sports. Uh, so that's a little bit of explanation how to navigate a little bit. Now there's something that maybe you noticed and is underneath. Uh, if you press down from the main menu, then it will take you here. Uh, this sub menu, there's only five on all of them besides system. When you scroll to system, and on system they have a different options. Like clear cache is really important to keep the code working pretty smooth. You just press enter, it ask if you want to delete the cache. It's always nice to keep it clear. Just press OK. If you want to test your internet or how fast it is, it's this one. Uh, update. Obviously, when there's a new update of my build, I will let everybody know. You just click on update. If you press there, it will take you to the MI, TV, uh, MI Retro TV build. And then you press on it, it will automatically update. It should be downloading and it will take you from the to the place that it needs to be um, updated. When in this case, since there's no new update, that's why it won't allow you to do that. <coughs> Profiles, this is good for anybody who wants to create um, different logins or profiles, which is good if you want to have some individuality. Just press on add profile, let's say person one. If you have the controller, you, you just select the letter, but one by one. Since I'm doing it on the computer, it's a little bit easier. Again, this build can work for, for any system, and that's why it's a little, little bit of convenience too for me to do it in here. For the video, I'm to make it quick. Press done, and then just, just press OK, because it's gonna create, um, if you notice up here, profile person, you just pr simply press OK and it will create a folder already for this particular person. If you press OK, see, uh, you can even, if you have a picture, you can put a picture or, or whatever, you know, this will be that person's profile. Press OK. You see, we ask you if you want to start first from default, just like, you know, copy default which means whatever is actually in there that means that is gonna make it look like that and then you know you can make the adjustments or if you do start fresh it will start start from all you know from the beginning you just copy default and copy default and that's it so right now the person's name is down here and if you have a picture it will be shown in there for the master user, obviously, if a person knows what, is, what uh, the person doing, then it's always nice to have a master user, especially if you want to put like um, uh, uh, protection for the kids. Uh, I forgot what's that. Uh, uh, parenting control, that's what I think that's what it is. Then you just, it's, it was good to have that because you can always put password and whatnot. Then you can create profile for different per people. What is good to have profile for different pe people? Because as you see on the system sub menu, it has this because it has like different options for the system. But on the, once you're on the main menu for all the content that you want to watch, there will be favorites, favorites that the person wants to keep. And if there's like three or four people adding favorites, then probably we're, we're going to have a big mess. But Again, if you don't like mess, if you don't mind mess, then by all means keep all the favorites here. And the same thing with the last play. If a person like to see what what was the last thing that you played, 
again since i opened this uh, video it will be shown in the last play so many in the bar if you like music this is a strictly music section uh, you can listen for from different add-ons that there's already on the build and it's all about music which means music could be documentary could be karaoke as we're gonna see here uh, we, if every time if we ask you an add-on like you like in this case you see there's a new database this is press OK and then we just add in because eventually you know the, the add-on themselves they ask you for updates if you don't mind adding updates I highly recommend them, them. and by the way they actually do auto -update, updates every time that you open up coding and you can always look up karaoke and whatnot and play with it you can have a lot of fun with this too. Uh, again, there's a lot of different atom for music. I press back and then controller to go back and YouTube. YouTube, I added down here because it's it's pretty general. Everybody likes to watch stuff in YouTube. If you like, especially if you like to search or look into things directly. Like for instance, I want to search. I don't know. Where is it? Uh, the NFL, right? Uh, uh, Super Bowl. This is just an example. Down, and it will do a search for the the NFL stuff that will happen. How come? I go back, press back on the control, and um, yeah. And uh, on the Spanish, uh, let me go, let me take a little bit. You know, say a little, mention a little bit about Spanish. Spanish again, you know, shortcuts up on top. Press up again to select another shortcut. You don't like what you see there. By the way, uh, I, I think I mentioned this before, but if you, if you keep pressing to the right, it will keep on showing more stuff all the way until it will scroll to the beginning. In this case, the, the one on top, you only have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it starts. So, so yeah. And if you don't like anything that in here, then you simply just go to this the menu, main menu, Spanish. And let me try this again. And it will give you these add-ons. And uh, they're all about Spanish content. Uh, you know, uh, let me let me try I'm not Latino. And then you see this it, it, it got updated on the on February the third. And everything here um, it's in Spanish. Even like you know movies that are made in English they're translating in Spanish. So it's pretty cool for for Spanish people like me. Yeah. Uh, Noche de Miedo, scary movies and stuff. Anyway, I go back and let's go to TV shows. TV show, the same thing. The, the shortcut on here is Exodus. As you notice, uh, the name of the add-on is down here. You see, it says Exodus, and this is what's airing today. The name of the show is on the bottom with the picture of the content. You read, uh, and on top is the this little bit of description what it is. Yeah, it has a rating and a time and what it is. You don't like what you see there you go to tv shows and it shows a little bit of a little different add-ons that shows tv shows um in my opinion my personal opinion I, I added the best ones obviously and the ones that they work the most but sometimes you might have problems exodus is a really um, good one hardly give you any problems but let, let me try to get an add on that, it give you some hard times. It's gonna be hard to to get a hard one. But, uh, let's go to again TV, TV shows. <coughs> okay, so AK forty seven. Apparently, you see, he says we fail with error four hundred four. So when you see an error like that, that means that 
the developer whoever created the add-on is not doing an update so obviously if you try to go in it's gonna give you an error so what you do is just move on move on to an add-on that it will work <coughs> I am here in crackler clacker whatever it's not me and you know you can see some of these movies already in there well let me try to choose one that up uh, oh, not TV movies this is our show I'm on the show section obviously So this opened really fast. So I'm pretty surprised at how far they open. Anyways, that's that. Some of this uh, the add-on give you a better de uh, definition of what's the content all about. Like in this case, it has the, the um, little bit of description here, the quality, the audio, and the uh, the, the way the, mo the the video was um, encoded. So. If you're like into tech stuff, is there? Now, uh, the last thing I think probably cover everything besides this thing is gonna be the search section. When you go here and you don't know what to find or whatnot, this this is pretty simple to find. You can find movies or TV shows, music, or if you don't know what to find, you just simply click on search and we'll find all all that in one place. But if you want to get more specific, you want to find a movie, uh, you can always find a personal or more play. But I always use it, it's always like I suggest I always use the search the track, it's just a little bit easier. So, in this case, I want to find the movie this one, movie terminator, and you press search, let it work. Depending on your connection speed, you will find things easier or faster. Or let on, on, unless if you if you type something like like the and that was it, that is not gonna show a lot of things. So apparently the, it gave me an error. Let's try this again down here. Let's see. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, so I used the track. Apparently, the T R A K T section is giving me an error, as you can see. Um, this is something that I had to fix, I guess. Yeah. You can, you guys can always use a TMDB. This is the database. Uh, on movies okay and then it would show uh, all about what you you type there including even things that doesn't even um, you type but it looks like as you guys can see it looks like a robot over here and whatnot. everything that you is all about terminator then you, let's say this one you want to watch what is going to happen is going to ask you where do you want to watch it from and it will ask you like hey so these items over here they had the the movie okay so you gotta wait uh, if you want to wait all, all the way to 100 percent if not you just wait for 14 i mean uh, obviously 85 this is all the items that are installed so you can always like select one of these now or just wait the ones that they were the all these have that movie the one that I type in so you select any of them Bob is really nice I will ask you if you want to hide the definition and standard definition oh so if you have good connection just press the HD if you have not so good connection, you can always press SD, and then it will start. Uh, I paused it because I want to explain this part, the section over here. 
Once you have anything playing on the main screen, it will add, it will show the name of the content, the time what it is, and the time that it's gonna finish the video that you're playing, the time that it's running, and the, how long is the the video down here on the right bottom, and then uh, controllers on top. All this you can control with the your control remote remote control, which are pretty basic standard. I I just press play and pause stop fast forward if you press that you to to make it to where you have to press play and then you see press fast forward and it will the, the more that you click the faster it will move uh, okay so there is the um, other options in here but I, I hardly don't you know, I don't suggest you clicking on any of them. That way you can always um, don't get too much confused. But I'm going to go over them real quick. The first one is to create bookmark. Like let's say if you want to continue watching from where you left it behind. But again, if you want to like stop the movie and play it again, it will ask you like if you want to resume or not. So I don't recommend that. The second one is volume. And the volume, you know, you don't have to mess with none of this stuff in here. Just keep it the way it is. Uh, these are video settings. The, video, the settings should be playing as good. Obviously, if you have issues, high definition will look better than standard definition. And if you have 4K TV, there's obviously more content for 4K TV. But, uh, these are, you know, the big the rewind completely, or you know, skip. These are, these are the rewind and fast forward. These are skip back, skip for, forward, play, stop. Subtitles in here, if you want to read subtitles. And since I cancel it, give me an error. But there's option for it and settings. Again, the more the, the, the ones down the side, you don't have to use. The only the ones over here. Mostly stop, play. If you press stop, obviously it will take you back. If you watch the movie it's gonna look like check mark here all right well i think that's that's it pretty much um i don't think i have anything else to to share however if there's something that um any questions or anything um th my be the best bet to reach me will be like leave a comment below and i will try my best to explain it's pretty simple uh the more that you use it the better you get at it and probably will learn more about which pattern works better than others and which one are you know you don't want to even get inside and check out you know because it's gonna give you a headache um, <clears throat> kids uh, yeah uh, Spanish let me go on kids one more last time and the kids here uh, it could be anything from, uh, you know, kids for kids, obviously um, cartoons, but also it could be also like if I go here on Phoenix kids movies. Whoop! Oh, I'm um, yeah, I probably skipped it because I'm going pretty pretty fast. But Disney collection, you know, you go there and you can find all the Disney movies. It could be either animated or it could be, um, you know like uh well it seems that this one is animate animated but on the on the disney movie uh, <clears throat> it's like you know like real life people all right well thank you so much for listening and until next time take care